Hi kids, it's really good to see you again. I hope you're well today. We're getting ready for Easter coming, aren't we? The day when Jesus rose from the dead. And we've been talking about uh, the donkey, the things that happened to Jesus in his last life on earth during Holy Week through the eyes of the donkey. We had Palm Sunday when he came triumphant into the city of Jerusalem, riding on the back of a donkey. And the people were waving their palms, singing and shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Then on Monday, Jesus went back into Jerusalem and the donkey told us in his story about seeing Jesus upset all the tables and turn them over and, and let the animals free and the money went everywhere. And it was called a day when he cleansed the temple. On Tuesday, Jesus, there was that story about the fig tree and you got to eat fig newtons. And we talked about having fruit, making sure that we live for Jesus and do the things for him. That's called being a tree with fruit, not a tree without fruit. On Spy Wednesday, we talked about clues that we were seeing and we talked about how Judas, Jesus's disciple, made arrangements to have betray Jesus and to turn him over to be arrested, and he was paid 30 pieces of silver. On Maundy Thursday, we talked about many things. We talked about Jesus' Last Supper, and how he had the meal of the Passover with his disciples, and they had bread, and they had wine, and they washed, uh, Jesus washed their feet. Good Friday, we talked about Jesus having to die on the cross. And you remember that was yesterday and our donkey friend stayed right there. He was loyal, but our donkey just couldn't bear to watch. And he turned his back to the cross because he just couldn't bear to see Jesus suffer like he was. But he could feel the shadow of the cross on his back. So I wonder what's going to happen today. Jesus has died on the cross. He's been buried in the tomb. Let's see what happens for the rest of the story. And this is going to be both Saturday and Sunday. And then we'll finish our story cubes. The little donkey that Friday followed the disciples back to where they were staying. And the next morning when the sun rose, one of the women who had been there at the cross came to give him food and water. Why, look at you, she said in a surprised voice. You now have the shape of a cross on your back. She called everyone and everyone came to look. Then on Sunday morning, everyone got really excited because Jesus had risen from the dead. The donkey thought that maybe Jesus's cross left by the shadow would fade away now that Jesus had risen from the dead. And the donkey would not have minded that. It would have been far better to have Jesus alive and with him again. But no, the cross stayed on the little donkey's back forever. It didn't fade away. And the cross was also on the back of the donkey's children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren right up to this day. Every donkey that you see with a cross on its back is a family member of that special donkey. That donkey that loved Jesus so much, it wanted to carry the heavy road of the load of the cross for him. And that donkey loved Jesus so much that it stayed near Jesus as he died on that cross. That donkey was a loyal friend and it was rewarded for its loyalty. So when you see a donkey with a cross on its back, remember the story of this donkey that was so loyal to Jesus. The donkey that was a friend to Jesus and tried to help him. You can be a loyal friend to Jesus too. Now, we have our story cubes. And so I wanted you to see, just like the donkey had a cross on its back, Look what our story cube makes for a shape. Isn't that cool? It looks like I've cut them out and they look like crosses, don't they? Except each of these cubes has little tabs and this is the trickiest part, kids. You may need an adult to help you because you're going to have to cut them out and you'll see a dotted line where those tabs are 
And that is where you're going to fold. And so I'm going to quickly, if I can quickly, fold all of these up and show you what to do. So you'll see as I get going. Okay, I'm going to hold it up so you see, and I'll put it in front, or rather behind a piece of paper so you can see better. You see how this side, I haven't done the tabs down yet on the folded line, and these ones I have. So what you're going to do, it's going to look like that on the back side. It will look like this. Okay, so I'm going to keep folding, and maybe you can too. If you need help with cutting in order to not cut off your tabs, um, ask either one of your sisters or brothers who are really good at cutting if they can help you, or you may want to just ask um, one of the adults in your family to help you. If you do cut off a tab, promise me you won't cry, because there's always tape, and we can fix it that way. Okay, but what the, t the tabs are for is for when we make the cross. You're gonna keep, um, you're gonna keep folding on all of those dotted lines and look what's gonna happen. Your cross is now going to turn into your story cube. So this is what I think is pretty fantastic. So I happen to start with the ones with the pictures first. Okay, so up on the top, I have Palm Sunday, and I drew um, a palm leaf, and I wrote, ho, 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 Hosanna. Then I have um, Monday, when Jesus cleansed the temple, and I have a picture of a house, because Jesus said, God's house is to be a house of prayer. So I drew a house and put the word prayer in. This is Spy Wednesday. I have a magnifying glass, I have a bag of money, and I have 30 pieces of silver. Then here we have Monday, Thursday. I have bread and the cup and a foot for the foot washing. Friday is when Jesus died on the cross and that picture of the cross went on that donkey's back. And then of course on Easter Sunday the grave was empty, the tomb was empty, so I have a uh, what looks like like a half circle that I made to look like a hill and I put a door in it and a, a big stone right next to it and you can color all these if you want and then what you're going to do is once you're done take a little bit of glue stick or a little glue or even just tape so watch what I do I'm gonna start by doing um, I start closest to the middle so see you're gonna put it like that and it'll be together there and over the top and I don't have glue with me, so I can't make mine right now, but I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay? And then these ones go in, and you just use those tabs with the glue, and that's how you make it stick. And here's your story cube. Okay? And it's the one with the pictures. And you're going to do the same thing with the one with the words. And then what you can do, you can roll your cubes, and you can kind of make a game of it. And you can play it with one of your sisters or your brothers or someone in your family. One of, you can do it one of two ways. You can say, okay, look at the words on one cube. Have one person hold a cube and one person roll a cube, and you can match them up. So if you roll your cube and it lands on the cross, you can say, which day was it? And then they can have to figure it out and make it match, okay? I hope you enjoy that and have a good time. And I hope you enjoy tomorrow, your Easter with your family. Um, I will not have a Sunday school lesson for you tomorrow. What I'll do instead is during the worship service, I'll do an object lesson for kids of all ages, and you might enjoy it, okay? Have fun at your egg hunts. I know you're going to have them, and I love you all. God bless you. Oh, let's do a quick prayer. Lord God, thank you so much for these children, and thank you for uh, all that they have learned about your life during Holy Week. I pray that you would keep them safe, and healthy, and that you will give them a wonderful, wonderful Easter, and that they may know that their church family still loves them. They've helped them to be able to have some activities so that they can have that during Holy Week and for Easter and weeks to come. God bless them, each and every one. Amen. All right, I'm going to close with doing that song that we learned yesterday. Do you remember it? Jesus died for you and me. On the cross for all to see The thunder clapped, the earth it shook When Jesus died our sins he took 
Then he rose on the third day, up from the grave in which he lay. Now he lives in heaven above, Jesus, God's great gift of love. There's my heart. I love you all. Have a happy Easter. Bye-bye.